Hi. Uh, sorry about my voice today. It's a bit low as I'm still having a bit of flu. But I hope you can still hear me. I have just uh, finished my latest junk journal called The Secret Garden. I couldn't couldn't resist the temptation to call it like that and you will soon uh, see why. It's a regular size uh, journal, journal just uh, as my previous ones made mostly of Finnish vintage papers. And uh, I just love how it turned out. I will tell you now a, a bit, a bit of a uh, kind of secret. Uh, I tried to make this um, a kind of um, yellowish uh, green journal, a bit um, rough and industrial maybe, but I couldn't. It just wasn't me. So, because I have uh, chosen the papers and then I uh, I sewed the stitched the laces together and and uh, um, and also stitched the whole uh, journal together and then I realized that uh, no, I can't. Uh, do it like this. So I had a c quite few um, hours of thinking how to proceed with this, but finally it's here and I love it. I have uh, used a, a template here, Tim Holtz one, and then I first tried to use um, now I don't remember what it was. It was maybe Nouveau's um, embellishment mousse or something. And it didn't um, come out as I really would have loved to. So then I used um, just uh, normal stamp ink uh, to... Um, to have a more clear image of of the roses climbing. And then here is the lace, um, keeping the journal shut. And I love this. It's a little sh charm uh, made of a camo base. And then, you know, you always have to have the key for your secret garden. Isn't it too true? So here we go. Now we will open uh, the door for our private secret garden. Okay. Um, I put a bit of rice paper to secure the uh, stitches from the from from falling apart and a bit of lace I uh, dyed with uh, the same ink I used a bit of um, here in the edges okay and it's just lovely how it looks like this but here we go we will start right from from the beginning and I have a uh, Dyed most pages papers with uh, with coffee or tea if they are not uh, the original lovely vintage shades of of page uh, any uh, originally. Sorry, I still have a bit of fever, so my um, thinking isn't that straight, but. I hope you will follow, even if I have a, have a thought every now and then. Here is a lovely original uh, vintage photo from Versailles, the pavilion of the Belvedere. I love it. And it kind of sets the um, 
tone for the whole book here. Uh, this is a really lovely old um, pharmacy uh, recipe. Uh, no, 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 no label. Um, and this is a movie ticket. The pink is, is just lovely. Thank you. Ladies. Okay. Uh, there is. Uh, I hope you will see how lovely this um, writing is here embossed. Writing Institutum Zoologicum. Uh, meaning uh, the Geologic um, Institute uh, of in the University of Helsinki. Uh, it's from uh, 19 something. There was a, uh, to date somewhere, but it, it's from the middle of the 18th century, I think, uh, with few Finnish vintage tickets. And, and these I just added, uh, attached here um, because, you know, um, I didn't want to uh, fill the whole journal uh, with things, but I decorated it anyhow. But they are all removable. You uh, know, most of them are re removable. And I made a tiny little um, butterfly. So I actually uh, was thinking of uh, putting these, um, you know, some uh, lovely uh, flowers and butterflies for the cover, but then I thought it might not be very practical, but then on the second thought, these aren't usually very practical at all, so... Maybe next one. Okay, this is a lovely little uh, book page. This is a poem of Tennyson, uh, translated in Finnish. And uh, a tiny little tag with my favorite stamp quote of the moment. Life is into details. And... Um, Actually, I think this isn't one of my uh, own uh, violin uh, musical sheets, but I still love uh, everything violin related, so I put a lady playing the violin here. And here is, the, of course, Lily of the Valley, the Finnish national. Uh, flower. I just love. It's my absolute favorite um, uh, flower in the whole world. If you, this is a stack, um, a stamped, a stamped uh, tag and an original Finnish vintage uh, ticket. And this is an old poop page. Uh, cover bridge, I think, the inner cover, and some tags. Um, this is a coffee dyed paper, right here, um, with a um, bit of golden and green inks. Uh, it came out pretty nicely. And it's funny how this whole book smells a bit like um, of of Prima Marketing. Uh, uh, was it what was they called? Metallic wax uh, waxes. It's a really lovely, but very heavy smell. Okay, yeah, this is a Tim Holtz page paper. And. You know, Lily of the Valley again. I love it. 
it's just one of my favorite scrapbook images here. And this is from the same um, uh, um, book as was this uh, cover page from from the Zoological Institute of Helsinki University. And this is a, you know, bit of lace every girl needs some lace. And I, I made a bit of a tiny pocket. Can you see it? I love it. I love the beautiful old uh, photo showing just the um, joy of a moment. It's it's a tiny photo, but it just brings a smile on my face. There is a tiny stamp, a Cavallini stamp image here. And classic uh, uh, wax paper. And as you see, uh, my uh, attempt uh, using Prima Marketing uh, or work, uh, antique waxes I'm, it's let's call it still a um, learning in process, but uh, it it's rather nice here anyway. In this page, a uh, little rough and little worn out, just well like we all are. And another back. It's my favorite lace. And this is an old uh, uh, receipt from 1927, and uh, this is a um, um, printed image uh, of my own personal collection uh, from some old vintage Finnish vintage papers. And this is from uh, 1868. And another butterfly, a little lady, and here too. And this is uh, the account book page uh, listing all the Finnish companies from, this is from year 1944. <laughs> and it happens to be Lloyd there too. Okay. Um, classic wax papers, and I oh, my flowers really wants to um, come along too. I made a tiny um, decoration here, uh, uh, keeping in mind the, uh, the um, book secret garden, and uh, you know. You know, it reminds, reminds me of that. My very, very um, favorite spring book. Still, I will never grown up uh, to be not enjoying this lovely book. Okay, this is a stamp image about dreams and some papers here and this is you know you can take it out um, this is a really old Finnish um, ribbon or or just a straw um, string. I think it was from 20s and unused tiny tiny matching green color. Oh now we are uh, even uh, now we are actually in Provence as uh, even if I'm really having the flu and can't uh, much uh, smell anything I can smell this one 
I made a tiny lace pocket of, and filled uh, it with uh, lavender and rose uh, that I uh, I have myself bought from um, no, it wasn't Nice, it was Andib um, food market and the smell is just heavenly Raise, uh, rose and lavender okay uh, uh, very very appropriate for a garden don't you think <coughs> then terminal uh, page just beautiful as it is a little stamp it, stamped image and uh, another scrapbook image one of my favorite finish uh, stamp images of really beautiful uh, lake um, landscape okay and here are vintage tickets and printed seeds and this is a um, letter book page from old Finnish um, Finnish account book uh, from the 20s or 30s I don't remember actually now and this is uh, from the inner core of one um, old book uh, from the beginning of the 19th century and then I had a little play with with vintage tickets and um, printed food image and it's a stamped sheet right here just the colors were so matching I wanted it here okay and lady and here is another bag just a simple one and a rose because you need flowers in your garden as you need butterflies too and more roses and lady with a rose and here is um, just a tiny reminder life is into details with the lily of the valley of course and this is the um, receipt sheet and um, with a silk ribbon and this is um, one of my favorite ladies uh, printed image I decorated it with lace and a bit of scrap scrapbook page and attached it right here okay and then I managed to take these away okay this is an old Finnish uh, ticket with an old British oh really really um, uh, damaged back, back side but it doesn't matter some printed sheets from the um, nature book from the 1800 something another tiny reminder and I don't know if the sunshine uh, affects or you can see there is a tiny bit of Prima marketing wax is uh, opal um, procut, uh, uh, wax a bit, bit of golden greenish it's lovely shimmer right here or old finish the vintage tickets and this lady uh, goes so well with um, this Tim Holtz paper but outside just need needed to add it right here and this is um, another um, marbled uh, book cover uh, 
uh, paper I have um, removed from the book. Um, it's from the beginning of the 19th century. And here are actually, as you can see, an old wedding photo from 1941 and I love it. I don't know if you can see uh, the beautiful, beautiful uh, shoes the bride is wearing with a tiny pose in them and the whale with flowers and just really elegant and simple wedding dress and the faces are really really uh, severe as, as they used to be in old times it's an old Finnish wedding photo um, that I wanted to put here another bag and then I made a decorated a tiny envelope and put another lovely old photo. It's um, clearly from uh, the seaside. Uh, it's from the beach and uh, with a middle age maybe couple in, in there. And we can all Imagine that these are uh, memories from from very um, precious moments of of someone's lives. And here is a tag, confidential. Um, another vintage tickets and printed in it. And um, some of you may know who. This lady is, she is um, Finnish Miss Universe and Finnish actress Armi Kuusela from uh, this photo is may maybe from um, 1951 or 52. Uh, this is just a printed image but I wanted to put it right here in the middle of my secret garden as uh, you know uh, this face is prettier than any roses in the whole world. It's just lovely. Another attempt of my flowers to jump into my secret garden. Um, book page, uh, musical sheet actually. You know, this really is from my old um, uh, own uh, violin uh, practice siege. So yeah, it has history, a lot of tears, a lot of uh, struggle, a lot of love and a lot of uh, love um, uh, goes with this particular seat. A uh, lady I put in behind, uh, I glued it uh, to a vintage ticket and this is a uh, uh, Czech uh, book cover from uh, a Finnish um, bank from the beginning of the 19th century. And um, this is the, uh, just a tiny uh, scrap of um, the account book from 37. You know, this is Sicily, Mary Parker, um, fairy um, postcard, and this is the Tennyson poem, very um, fit together. And uh, just um, tiny. Decoration seat here. It's 
Sunny Sunday uh, paper, one of my favorites, and a little bit of lace. And um, uh, this is the another half of the geological um, a book of the Helsinki University. And here is uh, another tiny butterfly to remind us all about our private secret gardens inside us and all the beautiful moments in them. And Matisse quote, there are always flowers to those who want to see them. And here are some flowers, another tiny little photo with a summer dresses and hats and smiles and flowers and lots of memories vintage ticket and uh, um, okay and it was it a journal full of um, garden memories and uh, flowers and butterflies and uh, beautiful moments and photos and and so on and the key to the garden who reminds that which reminds us that you know we do have the key to our own gardens inside us always Okay, thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, video and sharing uh, with me the joy of um, my new finished uh, journal. And see you again next time. Bye bye.